It's spooky season, which is why my friend Matt made this haunted house and asked me to put a spooky interior in it. If you're looking for the perfect haunt to call your home, you've come to the right place. Let's create something positively ghoulish. <laughs> We're going to make a cluttered attic storage room, an occult kitchen, a bewitching brewery and enchanting room, and a bed fit for the undead. Before any of that, though, we need a proper entrance. Just because this house is haunted doesn't mean it isn't a home. So some antique furniture before a roaring fireplace is just the thing. A moose head mounted to the wall makes for a grisly trophy, perhaps from a werewolf hunt? Over here we'll place a dining table and chairs, perfect for a proper Hallow's Eve feast. A desk takes up this corner, with a piano by the window, ready with its chilling melody. A dusty suit of armor completes any haunted parlor, but we can make something a little better than just throwing some chainmail on an armor stand. Start by placing down an anvil, a hopper, a blast furnace, and a grindstone on top. Now take four polished deep slate walls, place two on this side and two on this side, like so. Grab a couple of chains, put them underneath this wall with an iron bar on top and a white candle on top of that. Simply light the candle and you have an eerie suit of armor. Just popping in to let you know you can get this spooky Halloween asset pack on my Patreon for only five bucks. Get it now, before it's too late. Below lies the kitchen. Tomes of recipes and spells reside under the staircase. Here a brick oven is roasting hopefully just a nice, normal stew. Bundles of wheat lie on the table, ready to be baked into Halloween treats. A food rack holds the choice cuts of meat next to a keg of a finely aged drink. Let's build the oven together. After all, we can't afford any mistakes when it comes to roasting victim... I mean chickens. Punch out a 2x3 block area in the floor. Then punch out an additional 3 blocks on either side going into the wall. Destroy the stone bricks in these spots, then stack up 6 brick blocks on both sides. Now go ahead and punch out these 9 blocks in the back wall. Punch out a further 9 blocks and replace those with bricks. Coming to the front, replace these 2 blocks with more bricks. Now replace these three blocks with brick stairs. Put a brick wall here and here. Grab six brick stairs and place three on this side with the other three on this side. Take two upside down brick stairs and place them here and here. Then complete the arch with a brick slab. Get six more brick slabs and fill in the remaining roof of the fireplace. Come inside and replace this dirt floor with bricks. To add what looks like some coal and ash on the ground, use deep slight coal ore and tough blocks. We're going to hide the stone bricks in here with a couple of upside down stairs and five brick slabs, placed like so. Now grab two iron bars to create a fire grate, and then simply place down your campfires. To decorate, we're going to add a cauldron over that middle campfire hanging from a chain and filled with some water. Then get five candles, place three here. Come around to this side, place a temporary block here, and put the remaining two candles on top. Replace that temporary block with a brick stair. Finally. Light the candles. <laughs> the next room over is where the witches can really get to work. The enchanting table springs to life under their fingertips, surrounded by an assortment of candles, crystals, and the watchful eyes of a grinning skull. A large table takes up this wall, perfect for holding spell books or preparing potion ingredients. The cauldron bubbles with a strange brew, its fumes wafting through the floorboards above. Let's make that cauldron together. Start by placing down a sole campfire with a cobbled deep slate slab in front of it. Place two deep slate brick stairs around the campfire with a cobbled deep slate stair on the final side. Put a cauldron on top and fill it with water. Now to add that magical spark, start by placing a temporary block on the cauldron. Put four lime green stained glass panes around it, like so. We're going to add some lime green candles as well using more temporary blocks, with one right here. Place another two candles back here. Then add the final candle up in this corner. Delete the temporary blocks. Light them all up. Now we have a witchy cauldron. <laughs> the attic is where this house's secret truly lies. A dark altar hides among the shadows, lit by the dancing flames of candelabras. 
A coffin rests upon it, empty, but for how long? This is surrounded by the clutter of generations, no doubt more than a few haunted heirlooms and cursed artifacts stored within these chests and barrels. To make the coffin bed, we can start by decorating the area with some red candles, creating that moody lighting. Now place down a red bed, with a red nether brick slab at the foot of it. Surround this with seven dark oak trapdoors, like so. Take another three dark oak trapdoors and place them here to create the lid of the coffin. You're all set for an eternal slumber. With that, we've made the perfect haunt for any ghost or ghoul. You can get this build, as well as a spooky Halloween asset pack, on my Patreon. Subscribe, or you'll be sorry. Ha 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 ha!